Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the grand family turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. If you want to support me and the channel I have a Patreon I'll link it on the iCard. Today I thought we could talk about how physical health affects mental health. Now, this is coming from experience. I'm not a professional, I'm not trained to be a professional, I have no desire to be a professional. So, as I've mentioned previously on this channel, I have arthritis. Now, I have arthritis in most of my joints, and I have to use a cane. And when I've used it on buses and stuff and sat in, people are always like, she should get up, she's young. So. I stopped using my cane and I just go upstairs so I'm alone because they're double decker buses here. I live in London for anyone who doesn't know. But the shame that it gives you, it just makes you feel so invalidated and when you have to go and sit upstairs because you can't sit downstairs because you feel judged by people, it not only hurts to get all them stairs, it's also a bit of a fuck you. You don't really need this kind of thing from other people and that plays on mental health I, ha I have a lot of anxiety about going out with a cane which is one thing and it's hard enough without people telling me that I'm too young to need it but it's not as that like a self-care and mental health. So you may know this, I struggle a lot to wash my hair and that's not just because it's hard for me to get in and out of the bath. Yes I have baths instead of showers because I can't stand up for long periods of time to have a shower so I have a bath. To get in and out of the bath I literally have to shove myself or I have to put all my weight on my arms and that hurts, that's painful and that affects my mental health because I, like I said earlier I'm 26 and I struggle to get in and out of a bath like it's not normal for someone my age another thing is, like I was saying, self care when you struggle to wash your hair and you have greasy hair it's just, you feel like you've let yourself down Like last week it took me nine days to get to a point where I could physically wash my hair. I had baths in between but I couldn't bring myself to wash my hair because it's such a long process. You have to wash it, blow dry it, style it and it just takes so long that it's a draining task and Mentally, I just wasn't in the frame of mind to do it. Mental health and physical health go hand in hand with each other. And then you throw mental health in the mix and it just becomes a world of one thing after the other. For me personally, I've learned to just take it a day at a time. And if you can't wash your hair one day, set a goal for when you want it done by. And it helps motivate yourself. I can honestly say that mental health is no joke. It's not something that's easy to deal with, it's not something easy to live with. Because the smallest things can bring you into a depressive episode. I said this in my, my story video. I struggle with depressive episodes a lot. Depression is something that I struggle with. I'm diagnosed with depressive disorder as well as bipolar and borderline personality disorder, depersonalization, derealization, insomnia, autism, ADHD, EDNOS, <laughs> all the diagnoses. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you have any thoughts or extras you want to talk about, talk about in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Peace.